Yo, still bills. What's the deal, man? Yo, I got off work early. I came all the way out to the wrong fucking DMV to get this inspection for my car. I gotta go. I came all the way up to you know the 80th. 180. If I gotta go all the way back to, down to 84th Street, man, I'm not happy about that. But it is what it is, man. But peep game, we gotta get into this shit, man. And that is non-boxing related topic, man. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed, man. Um, I've been waiting for this debate between him and Derek Cologne, who's a scholar and a teacher and all that, and a historian on hip hop culture, man. And um, he's been, you know, he's been spewing a lot of propaganda. At, Propaganda, propaganda and have truths as it pertains to Puerto Ricans involvement within creating the culture. And I, I just and, and and just for someone who's a for someone who's a professor, for someone who has a doctorate in teaching and all that shit. And, you know, you're you're a doctor, I think is really dangerous for you to, you know, for him to propagate a lot of the shit that he's propagating. Yeah, I, I, you know, just it's all it's a, you know, it's definitely an ethno side as it pertains to, you know, black people's culture. We can't have nothing, man. Like I, I've said it before. We can't even have a word nigga in peace. We can't even have a word nigga in peace, man. The many they ever are. Well, it, it, it's no longer just about black camaraderie. All oh, man, I'm from the hood. I'm from here. I'm from this and that and the third. So that gives you a green light to say the word nigga just because of the, um, you know, the, you know, the background that you come from as far as living, living environments. And that shit just ain't the business with me, man, because now it's transcended from Latinos saying it to goddamn, you know, Arabs saying it and Asians of all people. I'm like, good God, it's, it's ridiculous, man. So we can't seem to have anything in peace, man. Even with our musical genres, man, we can't. I mean, shit. We own nothing in country. We own nothing in rock and roll, man. They didn't even allow Beyonce to get an award for a country song that she wrote because it's like this shit ain't country. They get to write the rules on that shit because they're the dominant force in that genre. Rock and roll, man. Like we, the way rock and roll sounds in the now, it sounds nothing like it did when Tina Turner was getting busy. It sounds nothing like when Lil Richard was getting busy. It sounds nothing like that. I don't even know the history on how they came into fruition to being the dominant force in rock and roll, but they got that shit and through rock and roll. It's so it's death metal and and, and 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 just a multitude of different sounds of rock music to the point where we're kind of, you know, we shy away from it. Jazz is another one. Jazz is another one, man. It's, it's not as... It's, you know, I remember Kenny G from back in the 90s, man. My dad was a... Was Pops a Kenny G fan? I think he was a Kenny G fan, man. But Chaz just... I mean, this is a sound straight out of New Orleans, you dig? Like, how are we becoming the numerical minority in our own brain products? I just don't understand it. So when you have something like R&B and hip-hop... We'll say hip, we'll stick to hip-hop. I ain't even going to go into R&B. You have something like hip hop. That is what makes hip hop so powerful is just, you know, the circumstances that it was cultivated in, man. That is a rev that is a reactionary response to the system. That is what hip hop is. From a musical standpoint to just being vandals and tagging on the wall, you, you know, you're under an immense amount of scrutiny on a social level. So it's gonna circumstances bring a certain level of genius out of you. You dig? So for you, you know, for this culture to have its own writing system, its own dance, its own language, its own music, that, I mean, those are a lot of pillars that make society what it is today. And so for you to have that under one banner is a phenomenal thing. It's a phenomenal thing, man. It's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. And But because we're just so socially pr uh, prone to just being inclusive and sharing everything with, with, with every goddamn body, we just allow, we've been allowing people to get away with saying hip hop is the Caribbean culture. Jamaicans created hip hop, Puerto Ricans created hip hop, and that just isn't the case. So when you have a Puerto Rican uh, teacher who's on here spewing a lot of half truths, now there's truths in what he's saying. The dude knows his culture. He's just being dastardly with it. That's why it's so dangerous. When you have somebody who knows better, but they just refuses to, they refuse to acknowledge when they refuse to acknowledge this, you know, just the bullshit that they spewing and they continue to spew it anyway. You dig? We've seen this before. We've seen this in Nazi Germany where you know there, there's no scientific evidence that's telling you you are superior to them. We've seen this in the deep American South. We've seen this shit on the, you know, from, from the shores of Africa. There's no scientific facts that backs the reason for you to subjugate these people over here. 
There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that. And just like them, their culture will all be there. Our culture will snatch from us as well when we reach the shores of this land. From the mother continent, man, being forced over here. A lot of us was already over here, but the majority of us, I think, was forced over here. Not even, I think, the majority of us was forced over here. So, and our culture, guys, just everything about it, we have no cultural connection to the continent, to the mother continent. We don't. And now we get over here, and all of the brain products that we come up in society today that makes the world go around on a cultural level, we don't even have rights to that. You would think somebody would respect the fact, nah, man, that's theirs right there. And all right, cool, yeah, we're we're being, you know, we're being endorsed, we're being, you know, welcomed and ushered into this culture right here. That usually would come with a sign, like just you would think, an unwritten rule of just respect. I bet that good looking out, but that's just not the case. That's not the case. And he's had people on his panels, this Dr. Cologne dude. He's had people on his panel who just went to infinity and beyond to come up with these fictitious, just talking points just like well I, it was some broad on this channel that was really just trying to push this narrative the one thing that they do they push this black puerto ricans are black puerto ricans are black first of all that man is not no black man people get the shit fucked up because there's a seismic pop black population in the countries that they come from that inadvertently makes everybody black no that's not the case that's not the case that that's not the case at all i'm really tired of having this argument man all oh, puerto ricans are black no y'all are not a lot of y'all are absolutely, but y'all don't speak. Though the black people, the black population in that on that island doesn't speak for the rest of the the rest of the island. Y'all like this is this, this childish. The type of games that y'all run, y'all expect niggas not to be quick on their feet, but because we're just so you know uh, uh, um, subservient to being the doormats of everybody and just wanting to please everybody and not wanting nobody to rile up on us, we just want you to acknowledge your blackness, even if it's a smidge of it, and you, it's gonna make niggas bow down. And I fucking hate that shit for us. It drives me absolutely insane. It drives me absolutely insane. But they lose you with that when they all oh, well, you know, if Puerto Ricans are black, why are y'all giving us so much pushback on us saying black people created hip hop? Because you know good and hell well, your ass ain't black. That shit bothers me. It hurts my fucking nerves. You're not a black man. And I just like I'm not a mestizo, and there's nothing wrong with me saying that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the story that biology is telling us. But some brow was on his channel talking about, yo, uh, some Puerto Rican dude. Like, we just owe all of our, you know, all of our creative genius to Puerto Ricans. Like, we're just supposed to, you know, throw roses at the feet of these Boricuas or whatever the case may be. Because, all oh, you know, just without us, there's no them. You did. We created all the, you know, the percussion that they use in their, you know, in their songs and their production and all that shit. Some chick was trying, this dude, this chick was talking about a Puerto Rican co-wrote on one of Marvin Gaye's songs. And I don't even remember the song. I don't even think she said the song that he co-wrote anything that he co-wrote shit on. She just, oh, well, he co-wrote one of the songs for Marvin Gaye. One song. Never mind the mass amount of hits that he has and classics that he has. We are just supposed to highlight one Puerto Rican co-writing on a Marvin Gaye song. And what is co-writing? A hook? Are you writing the verses? Are you constructing the verses? I, I don't. I don't think so. You damn sure ain't seen, you ain't helping him out with no vocals. But he's been, you know, really pushing these, you know, these 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 half truths and these false narratives for well over a year now, and it's it's, it's annoying. And you had he has a multitude of Puerto Rican, not pioneers, but OGs in his camp that's telling the man, listen, they'll try and flip and rearrange the story you did, but like, why well, do you mean it like that? I mean it like this. No, you said when Charlie Chase, you went on his, you said out your own mouth when you was going to the basement gyms and the projects and then in buildings and shit like that, it was all black people and you was the only Rican in there. So how do we get from there, from that to Puerto Ricans are 50% creators in the culture? How do we get there? How do we get there? You dig what I'm saying? You dig what I'm like? It is, you know, you can't, you know, just we can point to the first of everything in this culture. We can point to the first rapper and point and call him by name. We can point to the first b-boys and call them by name. We can point to the first graph heads and call him by name. You know, they're, you know, it's so wild with them that DJ, uh, um, uh, uh, uh Disco Kid Mario. They've been pushing this narrative that he's Puerto Rican for years. And they went to know that his family is like, we are not Puerto Rican. 
We're from North Carolina. We ain't nothing Puerto Rican about us. His mom named him that name because she liked how the name sounded. Mario, that's your name. Mario, that's how they say it out there. Like, you're not, we're, not, we're not Puerto Rican. No. We don't speak Spanish. We are black Americans from the South. Our, our, just, our roots are in the South. Not in the islands. The South. We are black Americans. Was a, you know, a notion going on for years that DJ Coke, DJ Coke, Coke Barack was a was a Puerto Rican dude. And he's like, no, I'm not Puerto Rican. He's from the Carolinas as well. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong on that. But he's like, I'm, no, I'm not, no, I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm not Puerto Rican. So it's just really, it's these narratives that are being propagated to, you know, just show these Puerto Ricans in a, in a certain life and the Jamaicans is, and it's not, it, it's getting to the point where it's not even the, J- the Jamaicans aren't even really giving as much resistance to black people letting it be known that nah, y'all didn't create this. It's not even, it's mainly, you know, the Puerto Ricans and they're, honestly, it's not surprising because they're doing that same shit with reggaeton. Like they didn't, cre- that's not y'all creation. That's, that shit started in Panama. And with, even with that being said and done, Jamaicans repatriate to Panama in, in, in hordes. So the Jamaican population in Panama is, is, is pretty seismic to my, to my, you know, to my recollection. And if I'm not mistaken, Nicholas Walters, who was, a, you know, he was, he was a champion at 130, or was it 126? It was, I think it was 30. His wife is Panamanian. He had to go over there and learn to speak Spanish and all that shit. So a lot of Jamaicans repatriate, repatriate to Panama. Hence the sound reggae. Where is reggae as we know it? Where is that shit started at? Jamaica. So how would it make sense that Puerto Ricans created uh, reggaeton when the people who really, you know, the, 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 the creators in totality of reggae music repatriate to Panama? It just doesn't make sense. It's real arrogant to me how they could do this shit with, and they could just, you know, this is ours. We created this. We, you know, we're co-created this. You can't name motherfuckers who, who were a part of the. You can't name the pioneers, the creators. You can't do it. You could go to people who are like, you know, when you look at, you know, B boy today would not be where it is if it wasn't for the, you know, the contributions of the Puerto Ricans. We got to be real with that. B boy does not get into the Olympics if it wasn't the, wasn't for the contributions of the Puerto Ricans. Why? Because black, the OGs, the blacks within B-Boy culture, they, you know, they, they pushed it off to the side. They casted it away. They, you know, they, 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 they threw it away. And when they threw it away, they picked it up, the, the Puerto Ricans. And when they picked it up, it was a certain dynamic that they added to it that black people didn't, which is the power moves. It's the power moves. The gravity defying you know, eye-catching moves, and you know, the, the power moves, the 90s, the 2000s, the windmills, the head spin, the, the you know, just, just everything dynamic you think of when you think B-Boy. The air freezes, you know, the, 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 the air tracks and the, the, the flares, they brung all that shit. They brung that. They're solely responsible for that. But make no mistake about it. They're following a blueprint that was already there before they got there. That's what they're doing. And, you know, why is that such a bad thing? I don't understand why that's such a bad thing. It's a bad thing because niggas ain't supposed to have shit. Black people ain't supposed to have shit. Not for ourselves. Nah, this is black and brown right here. Oh, no, this is a minority thing. You dig what I'm saying? So you can't name me you can't name me b boys from 1970 you know, 71 and 72 and you know before hip hop even got the term that it was you know the, the title for the culture you can't do it so for this you know uh, i keep saying you know uh, Pritchard. Pritchard cologne is crazy legs you dig the og b boy and shout out to him i met him before cool dude but for someone who has a doctorate in, 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 in history and being a teacher and all that, you should know how serious ethnocide is, bro, when your entire culture is being erased and rewritten. You dig what I'm saying? There's people who you just, I, like, 
as a Puerto Rican dude, you should understand, bro. Wow, you just we're, we're we're Tainos. One thing that the Mexicans are doing now in the prison systems, I've been told, I've been told, I've heard, they're not even speaking Spanish amongst themselves no more. I may have told y'all this. They're not even speaking Spanish amongst themselves no more. They're speaking Azteca languages. They're learning that language and they're speaking it. So now nobody can decipher what we're saying. That's smart. That's smart. That's equivalent to the brothers, you know, the 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 the, 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 the you know the the Damus and the Keyways and the the, uh, the 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 BGS and all that shit and all of our other black nationalist organizations speaking Swahili. That's smart. The enemies can't detect what it is that we're saying, so they ain't got to They ain't got to They they don't know. They're clueless, and they're vulnerable to whatever it is we we decide that we want to do to them. But y'all getting y'all history rewrote. The motherfuckers are either just. Spanish, motherfuckers, only, they're, they're saying Spanish is my mother tongue, yo, I, I, Spanish, Spanish, Latin, it's like, bro, so you as a Puerto Rican know how detrimental ethnocide is to a people, so for you to try to do that shit to, you know, do that shit to us is just, is, is, is it's outrageous and it's, it's disrespectful. It's colonial minded, bro, and that is what you're doing. That is what you're doing. So shout out to Tariq for correcting all that shit. That Latin breakdown shit. There is no such thing as a Latin breakdown. I'm a dancer. Not a b-boy. I'm a popper. I've said it before. I'll do a West Coast style of dance. 70s West Coast style of dance. Pop and lock and b-boy are all intertwined. Sugar Pop is the one who bridged the gap between those three styles. Uh, between those three uh, uh between those three styles becoming cross um a uh, 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 cross continent. He took that out there to New York, and to, and because because he's originally from Watts, and that's my man. But you wouldn't know that because even when he talks, he speaks with a New York accent because he lived out there for so long. He doesn't say talk; he says talk, walk. He talks like a you know like a New Yorker. But he's re he's solely responsible for that. But we're all intertwined. We're all intertwined. So I'm not a beep speaking from a beat boy's perspective. I'm around enough of them. I'm a, you know, and I'm just around the culture as it is. So I, you know, I, I have a little bit more knowledge and understanding on the culture, you know, insights of the culture that the average motherfucker may not. And I just think it's just really disrespectful and disingenuous when somebody is going on there telling me and telling all my people that rock that, you know, rocking and, you know, we get all this shit from Puerto Ricans and it's just real disrespectful. That is really saying that we are not, we don't have the ingenuity to come up with these intelligent dance styles. We don't have the ingenuity to do that. We don't have the rhythm to do that. It's wild to me, man. It's wild to me. It's disrespectful. Disrespectful as a motherfucker, man. Disrespectful as a motherfucker. So, shout out to Tariq. A Latin breakdown, bro. No, you know, just because you this, yo, know, that's the part that y'all most identify with as Latinos. That doesn't make the shit a, a undisputed truth. No, ain't no Latin breakdown, Brody. That's not. There's nothing Latin about those breaks. Well, I won't say that. You did because a lot of the breaks do give off like you know a, a, a Latin type of breakdown. I mean, there's a great. I think Babe Ruth. That band created, and they, dudes were European. This is a European band. They created. They, they have a song called "The Mexican." That's a b-boy anthem. So yeah, there, you dig. I, I get it. You know, I, I, I get why Latinos. It's a certain you know, the 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 con guys that are making you like that that activate you as a people. I get that, but that doesn't necessarily make that shit an undisputed truth, bro. It just doesn't. There's no such thing as a Latin breakdown. The breakdowns that they were hearing were break regular breakdowns that they would be spending in the park jams. You dig, and just, the biggest takeaway is I I could even give y'all because it's undisputed that DJ Cool Herc is the um he created what we call the merry go round. You you're gonna hear that a lot of that now. There, I mean, this is you know there's nobody who can dispute this. There was nobody before Herc who was extending the breaks and creating an atmosphere for the b boys to get busy in. They, they, that just didn't happen. That just didn't happen. That just, you know, we have Herc to thank for that. And I'm not mad. I can give Herc that honor or whatever. But the thing is this. When you say Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans created hip hop, they're bringing influence. You would think that they're bringing influence from their cultures over here to our, you know, to into our spaces. And that just ain't the case. The shit that they're spinning, 
They were American sounds, man. James Brown is a black American dude from the South, bro. You don't get to rewrite history. You don't get to rewrite history to, you know, to suit your narrative. James Brown was being spun at these park jams. Marvin Gaye was being spun at these park jams, brody. Curtis Mayfield, all of these, these songs were being spun at the park jams, bro. This is the foundation of hip hop, R&B, bump. That's the foundation of the culture. You don't get to rewrite that shit because it doesn't suit your narrative. I don't have an issue with saying Herc is, 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 is I, I don't take issue with Herc being one of the, the, you know, the godfather. That doesn't bother me. The father, no, because there's people who predate him. But I don't take issue with it. And why don't I take issue with it? Because everything that he's spinning is of our lineage. I'm not going to give resistance on her being an original DJ. I don't think anybody is in a position to give resistance on that because it's an undisputed fact. It's an undisputed fact. However, he was not spinning nothing from the Caribbean. He was spinning everything that we was banging over here. Everything. He had completely amalgamated into, into, into a, a, a black American by the time they start, you know, hip hop started becoming what it was. He learned how to DJ here. He learned how to grab here. He learned how to b-boy here. He was amalgam. He was a fit, uh, you know, at that point in time, uh, uh, you know, a uh, 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 um, uh, uh, unofficial black American. And they, you know, there's nothing that nobody can say about that. So I'm glad that Tariq went on there and got on that man ass. And he had all of these narratives and talking points that he had no issue with getting his viewpoints off. He had no issue with articulating his narratives and his viewpoints. And, when, you know, in other people's spaces. But when a certain amount of pressure is put on somebody, you're going to see how thorough they are, you know, on their, you know, on the on their ideologies and their beliefs. And he knows for a fact that he's pushing a narrative. And when Tariq got on there and banged on him. You've seen it. You've seen it. You know the you know the splaining and the stuttering and all that shit because he knows he was you know he's on bullshit. So shout out to that dude for that man. Shout out to Tariq for that. I, I, I enjoyed that shit. I've been listening to that shit about three times a day, and I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the rebuttal of him, and I'm waiting for Tariq to go back into detail, of, you know, about the um the debate. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Shout out to him. You did cologne. I really wish you come around and get off your high horse and stop trying to propagate bullshit when you have people, Puerto Ricans, telling you that we didn't create hip hop. And the ones that are saying we created hip hop, there's evidence of them saying early on we was not around like that. I was the only one in the in the basement parties. You got Cass telling you to you know the name of you know one of the dude. He's credited his name in the culture. He's like, yo, man, they wasn't around like that. It wasn't around like that. Charlie Rock is letting it be known. No, bro, this is a black. I'm not going to say there was no Puerto Ricans around, but this was of a black American experience. You don't get to rewrite that shit to put you motherfuckers in there. Y'all don't get to move the date to a date where y'all are more plentiful in the culture. Act. That shit is disingenuous. And y'all continue to do that shit. And now it's not it's not even happening. Hold up. Hold up. All right, there we go. This, you know, just, you know, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all want to move the date from 73 to 75 when you're more plentiful at, to, you know, to fuel y'all, y'all narrative and that's bullshit. Y'all keep, you know, y'all, y'all can't rewrite history because y'all are doing the same shit with reggaeton and it's very disingenuous, man. So get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Shout out to Tariq and she, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the rebuttal. I'm waiting for the replies, man. And. I'm happy right now, and I'll be buying that documentary when it drops, man. So I'm about to go in here, do this shit, and y'all be easy. I'll get with y'all later. Deuces.